Welcome to Skylight Junction. This box just turned up in front of my doorway. Now it is time to open it. It is a new addition to the layout, as you can see. <laughs> but yeah, let's open it. I love doing these unboxings for YouTube. It shows you what you get. It's actually pretty weird because this... Um, thing came in a little bag and uh, I thought to myself oh no don't tell me the engine itself is in the bag let's hope it's what I think it is is it what I think it is is it is it is it oh, sorry for that <laughs> This and if you can see it, it is. Oh I've been waiting almost two weeks for this. Wow, and it is. Oh my god, it is. Yes, oh, I'm sorry for getting so excited. It's uh. This is one of the engines that I've been after for quite a while. Uh, yeah. There she is. Now, I'm not going to go into proper review mode on this because my phone has got short memories and I don't got time for it. This is a Hornby A4 Commonwealth of Australia. This is one part of the um, uh, coronation service. And as you can see, I am six years late to do this because of that. Yeah, it dates back 2012. That was six years ago. And it's 2018, so apologies for being late. Please forgive me about this. Uh, I, was, uh, I, was, I, was, uh, I was 14 to 15 years old back in 2012. So I was uh, pretty much 14 years old when this model came out. So yeah... Right now my phone's on a charger, so I'm probably gonna have to place it on my knees or between my knees. Hopefully that's the appropriate word saying that. Get that to focus. You know what? I'm gonna unplug the phone from my charger, or unplug the charger from my phone if that makes any sense, and get this review going. Phone is unplugged. Phone is between my knees. I got Commonwealth of Australia. Mm. Yeah, here's a side. My Hornby uh, Golden Plover didn't come with this um, side for some reason. It's actually pretty neat to see that. So yeah, like I said, I'm six years late, and it's a limited edition of 1,500 units. Very interesting. Yeah, and we go to the back. We have the history of the real locomotive. Oh yes, we do. That is right, folks. We do. Uh, you can pause that and read it if you want. I'm just going to open it because I, I need to make it quick. Oh, nice. Look at that card. I don't have this card on my Golden Plover. Uh, strangely enough. Yeah, Let's get this open, shall we? Uh, this box looks brand new. I did hear the... Uh, there we go. The engine looked uh, was uh, brand new. Let's see, how do I get this out? There we go. I'm a little nervous about this because every uh, locomotive I have by Hornby, or it's usually the A4s, would always cause me problems. Like uh, Sir Nigel Gresley, Golden Plover, and Mallard. Fingers crossed that this one doesn't give me any problems. Let's set this card up. Class A4 instructions, we'll look at that in a bit. This is what I'm on about. Look at this. One thousand of fifteen hundred. That is something special, does it? Oh no, it's a small piece. By Simon. I'm not gonna pronounce his last name. Thank you, Simon, from Hornby. You're awesome. Might frame that now. Let's look at the instructions. Instructions. Ah, 
Ah, uh, yes. Uh, ah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. So, uh, they look clear. They're not crampled like Golden Plover was. I hope this will be easier to take off this time like Golden Plover wasn't. Back. Brake rigging. All that. All right. Oh, let's look at the engine. Yeah, as I said, this box looked really new. It really does. It's like this thing has never been used at all. Oh, you got a detail pad. You don't get that with Golden Plover. We're gonna look at that. Oh, I never had. I've never had these with Golden Plover either. Ah, oh, this is something new. Oh, damn, these are hard to get off. Hold on. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. What do we have here? Oh, I see what this is. This is a flange wheel. This goes under the cab. Because the cab has a flangeless wheel at the bottom. Or at the rear truck. Alright. Yeah, you get a flangeless wheel. I heard. I also heard you get like a little knuckle coupler-like type in this thing too. Uh, doubt you can see it, but it's in there. You also get a vacuum pipe. I don't dare open this. I don't want to open this. I don't dare to. Now lift this out. Tada! And here we go. Yeah, it really does look like this thing has never been used before. And this thing is six years old. Can you believe it? All right. Gently get. Oh, I, I didn't. That didn't sound good. Get the tinder out. It's wrapped in tissue paper. Oh, that is not good. Oh no. I don't screw that back on, do I? Damn it. Alright. Get that out. Come on. There we go. And there's the tender. Yeah, we'll have to screw that back on. Hold on. And I'm back. Uh, the tender was just unscrewed. All I had to do was just take that off. Screw the tender back on. Job done. Uh, I also noticed the coal is removable too. You probably saw that in the instructions, but yeah. I felt the coal is removable. It's loose. I'm not going to go into detail about that because I don't have time. Probably going to make it to part two. Now let's look at the engine. Oh man, this is really heavy. <laughs> this is so heavy. I am not joking. Oh man, it feels like it's heavier than my other engines. Oh, oh my god. There she is. Commonwealth of Australia. Wow. You know... I don't know why I well, I don't know why I always keep thinking these engines are in the double O gauge and uh, I always keep thinking these are gonna be uh, a little bit bigger than HO scale uh, a little bit bigger than any of my HO scale trains I don't know why but I always think about that every time these engines come in the mail uh, oh this is a bit that scares me a lot this is something that scares me the most is this. I don't want to plug this in, but it feels like I have to at some point. Maybe I might do it in part two. Um, who knows? Whew, yeah, you got white painted handrails and uh, the nameplate. Oh, God, I love the nameplate. Number 4491. We'll look and see what that is in a minute. Cat detail. Oh, man, it is spot on. Hornby got it perfect. Even the tender. Yay, well done, Hornby. You've done awesome. It's a single smokestack. Air intakes. They open and close. Sorry, I didn't get that in shot. Yeah, they open and close. Oops. All right. Sprung buffers. Yes, I also did it on the tender too when I was screwing it on. Yeah. Let's couple the engine close together. I'm not going to put the wiring harness on yet. But, uh, let's look at the wheels. Oh, man. Ooh. Was I lied to? Feels like I can see lining. He said it was brand new. I don't know. I'm uh, not going to judge on that, but yeah. Let's couple the tender up together with the engine. I'm not going to do it on the track. I'm going to do it on the floor for now. Oh, I'm here in a Hot Wheels car. <laughs> All right. Oh, sorry if uh, the engine's blocking the uh, the view. Uh, let's couple it up. 
like this. Take my phone off the Lego case. This is what I use for my phone. Stand it up. Look at that. Dude, that is amazing. What a fantastic piece of engineering. Alright. I'll uh, hook up the wire and harness. Harness, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to do that on camera in part two. Now stay tuned for part two and we'll get this engine running. Sorry if I was making this video in such a hurry because, uh, like I said, my phone takes up uh, memories when it comes to videos. So stay tuned.